This is Chemist, and these are our pre-show rituals. I always have to make sure that I am totally warmed up. That includes playing guitar for 30 to 45 minutes. It also includes warming my voice up. People that do heavy vocals tend to assume that you don't need to warm up, you don't need to, that's, that's insane. It's like any other muscle of your body, if it's not stretched out, you're going to hurt it. And I've learned that because I've blown my voice out on tour before and it's a terrible thing to have happen. It hurts, you sound like garbage, you gotta make sure that you're ready to go out on stage. That also extends to the rest of the body. Stretching the legs, the back, the hamstrings, the, everything. You know, do some push-ups, get the blood flowing. Make sure you're totally hydrated. I'll drink easily two or three bottles of water and uh, depending on how early in the day, probably close to a half a gallon of milk because I like milk and I'm a maniac. Um, don't eat anything too close to the show. We generally eat dinner 90 minutes to two hours before we play, maybe a little bit longer than that. Maybe a little snack, a little uh, salsa, a little hummus, something like that but mostly just want to be fully hydrated and uh, ready to go to get out on stage. Eating a couple hours before we play, not being too weighed down, so like what we eat is, I am really particular about um, just not eating heavy foods. Um, I don't like to eat spicy things right before, you know, day of <clears throat> the meal before the show because of that as well. Um, I do warm ups for drums, just uh, hand and feet exercises for 20, 20 minutes, um, just constant hand and foot rolls um, just to get everything limber and then uh, I'll drink half a beer usually before we play and I stop drinking water about 45 minutes before we go on if we have a longer set I uh, just don't want to have to pee while we're playing and uh, sometimes I'll, I'll meditate for a little while before that um, and then the maybe like one of the most important things for me is I'll put my phone away for about an hour before we're set to go on just so I'm not distracted my head's into focusing on the set. We all kind of do some variation of these two things, but we also all sit together as a band and we'll run through, you know, at least parts of a couple of songs together, just acoustically, um, you know, with singing and everything, and just feel like we're on the same page together, make sure that we're all locked in and ready to go. Anything that was rough last night, we might run through that, um, especially. Um, and I just drink a lot of water. I try and drink tea too before we play if I can. Um, sometimes I'll bring some on stage with me also, even though that's kind of a lame thing to drink on stage. Um, and I don't really drink before we play anymore, but um, I'll open a beer and have a couple sips of it, and then we almost always, actually we do always do a toast on stage when we, when we get up there, just as a way to make sure that we're sort of reconnecting right before we're about to play, to say, you know, you know we love doing this together and let's have a great show and then we extend that to the crowd too. And that's kind of been a ritual that we've done ever since we started the band. Yep. Um, so that's probably the most important ritual that people will see if they come see us live. Yeah, I don't have much to add other than um, I, we all, a few of us at least do push-ups, just kind of get the blood flowing. Um, I like that part of that ritual. You know, we'll stretch. I definitely stretch my legs and back, I'm old. I gave that away in the other video. Um, so stretch, push-ups, play the song. Other than that, like Zach, I'm, I usually have about half a beer, take it on stage with me, finish it. Sometimes I take a second beer that I never open. <laughs> and, um, you know, just- Sometimes you always take a second yeah. beer that you never open. Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes I open it <laughs> too. That's but, true. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we're all on the same page. Like we're trying to take this, we're trying to have a lot of fun, but you can have fun taking it seriously too. So I think we all collectively kind of, without maybe even speaking about it, we don't drink a whole lot before the show. And, and lately we don't drink a whole lot after the show because we're trying to get somewhere and get to sleep.